As we progress through our time together, we are beginning to answer questions that have been sent to us from parishioners, and I was asked to answer the question, why can't a priest get married and have a family? And it's a pretty complex question. It has a number of answers, but the the simple answer is that a priest can marry, and in fact does marry, and has a family, because marriage requires a, a spousal commitment. And every one of us is, by the grace of God, given the opportunity to love someone else without reserve. And just like husbands of wives are called to love their brides as Christ himself, the bridegroom, loved the church. So priests, when they're given the priesthood of Jesus Christ and a share in that priesthood, they're given his spousal assignment, that he would give himself totally for the church And in turn, he's called father, and he does, in fact, have children. He gives them birth in the font of baptism. He nourishes them at the altar of Christ's body and blood, and he lays down his life for them by virtue of his ordination. A recent saint, St. Maximilian Kolbe, was one who lived this quite well. In trying to comprehend how this man would give his life completely in a concentration camp for almost a a complete stranger, he was asked, "How, how could he do that? And his response was quite simple. I died on the day of my ordination. So from that point forward, he was no longer St. Maximilian Kolbe. He was never really like giving himself over just to his own gain. He became something different. He became the representative of Jesus Christ in the midst of the world. That is what gained him the glorious crown of both virginity and martyrdom, purity and zeal for the gospel. May we be martyrs of charity just like he is and live our lives in accordance with that spousal imagery that we give ourselves completely for the other and in return receive the gift of being known perfectly by Christ. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.